Welcome back to Good Day Weather. It's always something to celebrate. Yeah, so if you like potatoes, mm -hmm. you like gravy, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and do you like our Canadian friends uh, up north? All right. Yes. Well, you just might be celebrating <laughs> National Poutine Day today. Yes, exactly. Manhattan's in Uptown Toledo is making some poutine for us today. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, I, for Stephen, you know this, for my, our wedding anniversary, we go to Canada. We, do, lot, the, we right? do the you same thing. We go to Canada thing. too. Yes. And we always get poutine, poutine, but during the pandemic, we couldn't go. So, we're like, who has poutine around here? And we, sure enough, we, we looked it up and I was like, oh, let's go to Manhattan. So, yeah. we actually went and had some poutine uh, for our anniversary one year and it was delicious. So, but glad you enjoyed. For people who don't know what it is, yes. what is poutine? Well, uh, traditionally, it's three ingredients. It's um, uh, French fries, usually about a medium cut, mm -hmm. and um, uh, cheese curds, mm -hmm. and, uh, and gravy. Mm. Um, usually, a, usually a beef or, or some sort of a brown mm -hmm. beef or chicken gravy, but usually it's a, it's a beef gravy. We use, okay. a, we use a beef gravy at Manhattan's. Mm -hmm. And um, for, for our dish today, I made up some fries. I got those mm -hmm. nice and crispy. You want to keep um, a little bit of chew on the inside, but a nice crisp on the outside. Okay. And that'll go with the gravy because as the gravy saturates and, mm. and sogs everything out, sure. you want a little bit of crisp. A little bit still. of crisp on the outside. But I did bring some extra of these cheese curds. Ooh, are they <laughs> so, squeaky? Yeah, they are. Uh, they are squeaky. Um, make these squeaky. are produced by Turkey Foot Creek Farmer Dell over at Turkey Foot <laughs> Creek uh, Creamery. He made these, mm. and we've been working with him for uh, well over 10 years, and we just love his love his cheeses. Oh, and, uh, so good. <laughs> my my mother's side of the family is from Green Bay, so ah, cheese curds okay. have always been a, 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 a big part of our our snacking history. Yes. But, are you a Packers <laughs> fan? Uh, no, uh, I'm the traitor uh, of the family. I'm actually a Bears fan. Oh, stop uh, it. Unbelievable, right? I'm See, from, he's, Chicago, he's from Chicago, and I'm a Packers <laughs> fan. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> What's going on? Can we stop this interview, please? <laughs> he's a Bears fan. This is all wrong. It's all going stop wrong. Stop it. With Green Bay roots. <laughs> no, just joking. So let's talk about poutine. So yeah. uh, like Amanda said, my mm -hmm. wife and I, we go to Toronto each mm -hmm. year for our anniversary and stopping along the, I think they call them on routes on 401, uh, heading that way, 401 East. I, I think that's the name of the mm -hmm. highway. Anyway, um, if you see, go to Burger King or something like that. It might be on that menu. It yeah. is on the menu. At Burger King. So do you know a little history behind this dish? Well, I know it was um, uh, generally the center of Quebec is, uh, the Centre du Quebec is where uh, it, it was claim to have been originated mm -hmm. but there's a lot of disagreement on where exactly but it's a it's a Quebecois dish mm -hmm. and um, and other you know as it's as it's kind of spread in popularity at, at first it was sort of like frowned upon it was like you just threw some gravy on some fries <laughs> and added cheese curds and called that food yeah but um, it's it's really gained a lot of popularity uh, internationally and people started adding things so uh, we we add uh, yeah, a really nice really meat. nice cuts of beef mm -hmm. um, to to the dish mm -hmm. oh, these are starting to melt that's great oh yum <clears throat> oh it looks so good. Our, I and, uh, you know, there's people make lobster, lobster poutine, all kinds of chicken and, uh, you know, tofu maybe. Yeah. Uh, tofu poutine <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're vegetarian or vegan. But, um, yeah, so we, we do a little uh, beef, and this is uh, Ohio beef through, uh, mm -hmm. through Blue Ribbon Meats. We, uh, we get deliveries from them. And, uh, and then we have our, our secret house recipe, gravy. Secret. And, yes. What's most important is that you start with a good beef stock, mm -hmm. um, uh, a, a little, bit, little bit of um, beef stock. And then, uh, as we uh, as we thicken it up, we want to make it so that it's it's runny but not not soupy. That looks good. You know, so we want to keep it uh, nice and and smooth. The the texture of the dish is also something that's very important to uh, poutine. Uh, traditionalists, you know, it's, it's the mixture of the crisp of the fries uh -huh. and, the, and the squeak of the cheese and the, <laughs> um, you know, and just the, the flavors that, that are mixing mm -hmm. together. So I okay. grew up actually, my father used to put gravy on his french fries really? all the time. Okay. So we had that in our house a lot. We just didn't have the poutine or the cheese curds to go with it. But I'm like, this is a great addition yeah. when I learned about this. But what made you all at Manhattan's put this on your menu? Um, well, we were looking for uh, um, something uh, as we were developing our, our pub fair menu, mm -hmm. we were looking for uh, some small plates that we could do and um, something that would go together quickly. Mm -hmm. And in, in in our kitchen, this goes right. really fast. We, right. we pop the fries and the cheese curds in the oven mm -hmm. and for a few minutes. We get the uh, throw the beef on the on the flat top and, and get it mm -hmm. cooked off real fast. And it comes comes together real quickly because we want people to come in and and get a quick snack. Sure. Yeah. And <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, and we we love the idea of the poutine. I've always loved the cheese curds. Yeah. So um, we were looking for. Uh, uh, different ways to utilize those cheese curds, and we're like, wow, poutine. We have there a great we go. gravy we're already. Kind of yeah. and, we're only and, an hour from Canada. Exactly. And mm -hmm. in Manhattan, is it's all about the comfort food, right? Correct. So this is. 
it's par for the course when it comes to that menu, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we offer a lot of different styles of cuisines. You know, if you ever handed my menu to a menu expert, uh, he would tell you that it would never work. You're crazy. <laughs> but in, in many ways, it's, it's very New York in the way that it is um, sampling from all kinds of different styles, sure. all kinds of different ethnicities and regions and, mm -hmm. um, and, and cooking styles. And, that makes sense. Um, and that's just what we wanted to feature uh, at Manhattan is, mm -hmm. is the different flavors that are New York City, the, right. different, the melting pot of flavors that make up New York City. And that's really what, um, what kind of inspired it us makes to, a lot of sense. To, uh, to do our menu the way we did it. And, and it's just everything on the menu sells really well and, mm -hmm. and people love the, the variety. And it's, it's like I said, a little it, bit it of shouldn't this, work. A little bit of that, right? It shouldn't work, but it, <laughs> but but it does. does. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that matters. Oops. No, so you can, beef on there? So, so you're putting beef on there, but uh, uh -huh. like you said, uh, you could... You could do but anything. Well, you can do right all kinds. You can do all kinds of different things on your on your poutine. It really all depends on what's uh, you know what sort of mood you're into. You gotta have the fries, the gravy, and the cheese curds. That's mm. correct. <laughs> the fries, the gravy, and the cheese curds are the basis That's of the dish. That's a must. Yeah. Okay. And so the the we, we call this the star of the dish is the mm. gravy, right? Right. So we're the gonna, secret. Yeah. The secret <laughs> ingredient. Like I said, just start with a good beef sack, and and everything else will go. And go I very imagine well. with this dish as well, you have to eat it fresh. Mm. You can't yes. wait. Yes. I'm looking and, and going. I the, forgot my fork. The, <laughs> the cooling process is also part of the dish. Like as okay. it cools, uh, the the textures change. You know, mm -hmm. the, the gravy thickens up a little bit. Um, the, the you know the fries as that. they st start soaking up the oh, gravy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Amanda, Good can you stuff. handle all of that? Oh yeah. <laughs> You know what, though? That's, I got it. That's not enough gravy. I got some more gravy Oh, he's got more. Here. got more gravy. Look at that. Yeah, we needed more gravy. TV magic. I love, like, pulling things out. Right. <laughs> Already made. There Actually, we that go. That is a lot of gravy. Mm, well, yum. it's important. You know, it's the star of the dish. Yeah. It's the star of the dish. So, got plenty of gravy there. There, we're all good on that. Okay. And then, let's well, put that. it over here for you guys to check out. That looks great. There we go. Oh, okay. Hold on now. Let's... Oh wait, you gotta jazz gotta, it up. Gotta put some microgreens on there. A little bit of micro basil <laughs> there, just for some aromatics. There we go. I, I like that. Yeah, right. That's the vegan. Well, these, a color these were actually this. grown at the Balance, uh, the Balance Indoor oh, Farms, oh, right downtown here. So love how you guys keep so much local when it comes to the food. I love yeah. the local. And I didn't as know that. Yeah, and I that. didn't know that. Yeah. How long so have you been there? There's three three local components to that. Yeah. So how long have you guys been open? We just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Congratulations. We opened in December of 2002. And, oh, um, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. How so, am yeah, I going to agree really, we do this? We really loved growing up on Adams Street and, and just love the mm. community that, that is downtown Toledo. Yeah, it's and, for, and for folks who don't know where you guys are, uh, where, where's the location? <laughs> go ahead. We're dance. On, dance. <laughs> yeah, go for it. It makes me dance. Um, we're on uh, Adams Street between 15th and 16th in the uptown uh, neighborhood of downtown. Um, a great little A couple blocks down there. from the main library is probably the easiest point of reference. Uh -huh. Okay. And there's a great little, uh, great little group of restaurants and bars and, and shops. <laughs> down there on Adams Street. And so. what time do you guys open today? We open at 11 a.m. Um, and our kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Um, Monday through Saturday. And then our Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. I've heard great things about the brunch. I love your little patio out there. The gravy. You're right. It's the star. The secret. It's the star. It's the the star. So good. <laughs> How about those cheese curds? Those are great. So good, too. It's all. It's delicious, Stephen. I'm so sorry. So good. I'll Enjoy. Let, I will. Go Don't ahead. be sorry. You, Enjoy. You talk, then. Zach, thanks so much for joining us. We have more good day. working on this. In a moment. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, the gravy.